Peggy 12. Super Smash Brothers for Wii U is about to release. So I, the announcer, am here to detail some new features that can't be found in Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS. Super Smash Brothers for Wii U! 50 must-see things! The best part of the starting lineup is that you have more than 40 unique heroes to choose between right from the get-go. So compared to the Nintendo 3DS version, the Wii U game will have quite a few more fighters available the first time you play. Of course, since many fans love the way new fighters interrupt your game to challenge you, we've left some characters for you to unlock, too. You'll notice that the moveset of each fighter is the same between both versions, so those fighting techniques you've been polishing will still come in handy on the Wii U version. Comparing the Wii U version with the one on Nintendo 3DS shows you just how beautiful the new visuals are. Of course, that's as it should be. If the handheld version featured resolution like this, then the Wii U version looks like this! These are the highest quality visuals we've ever had in the history of Smash Brothers. Even the smallest details are fully rendered, and by pulling the camera out you can see everything really well. Now please take a look at this. It may seem familiar, but some things definitely different. Yep! In the Wii U version, you can have five player battles simultaneously! A series first! Now, you won't have to worry about being the fifth wheel when going over to a friend's house. Next, let's take a look at this. Would it be? Yep! In the Wii U version, six people can play at the same time! And while we're at it, I'm happy to report that the Wii U version will support up to eight players simultaneously! However, eight player Smash is going to be a special mode in the game. Having that many players makes for a very different type of match, so you can only play on particular stages, and you won't be able to play that way online. Of course, if the stages felt too narrow to support eight players, it would leave something to be desired, so... There are a number of bigger stages in the Wii U version. In fact, some stages are so big that they would have made the fighters appear too small on the Nintendo 3DS version. But they look great on the Wii U. These stages are perfect for battles between five or more players. I should mention that the probability of these stages appearing in online multiplayer is a bit lower than normal. This is one of the bigger stages. Big Battlefield! We've taken the original battlefield and expanded it, making it better suited to host battles with multiple fighters. Also, we've created special combat conditions for stages like this. Here we have a the Great Cave Offensive! This stage is based on the underground labyrinth found in Kirby Superstar. Spread around the stage are unique danger zones. If you hit one, you'll take damage, but there's more to it than that. If you touch one of these areas with over 100% damage, you'll be instantly KO'd! Chase your opponents into them or throw them and let them hit one! There's lots of space to play in and treasure chests appear as well, so there are lots of fun things to discover in these stages! And here's a new stage based on Donkey Kong Country Returns. Jungle Hijinks! It has two planes on which the fight can take place, the foreground and the background. You hop in the barrels to blast from front to back and vice versa. Sometimes fighters will even battle on both planes at the same time. Using a blast barrel will temporarily surround a fighter with flames. Though you won't take any damage from it, using a barrel again in this state will lead to an explosion. So be careful! Also to account for the width of the rear plane, fighters there will fly farther when hit. As for the number of stages, there will be more in the Wii U version than in the 3DS version. The design of the stages is going to be very different between versions as well, so Smash Battles will be enjoyable in different ways on each version. Now then, 
Let's run through some full pictures of the stages, except for those common to both platforms. special stage that won't be ready by the time we release the game. We're thinking of distributing it once the service is ready. The name of the stage is going to be Miiverse! We'll gather up Miiverse posts about each fighter, then have these messages cheer on the fighters when they appear. Once the service is up and running, we'd love for you to post some messages to support your favorite fighters. We're again going to have something like the Snake Codex from Brawl. This time, they will happen in Palutena's Temple! Hit, Palutena and Viridi will converse about the fighters. All you have to do is select Pit and execute his downward taunt. There may even be some special guests that appear. You can also enjoy listening in on some of Team Star Fox's radio chatter on the stages Orbital Gate Assault and Lilac Cruise. We've also included Gower Plane, which you may recognize from the Nintendo 3DS version. Here we have Metal Face making a special appearance. He comes out at night and begins some of his unique commentary. You can also KO him, by the way. Pyrrhus here is inspired by the Metroid series, so here you'll find Samus arch nemesis Ridley. However, he is not just some boss enemy who is there to interfere with the fighters. Instead, if a fighter attacks Ridley enough, Ridley will join that fighter's side. It really is quite enjoyable to fight alongside a giant boss enemy. Furthermore, if Ridley consumes a certain type of energy, he will become the even more vicious Meta Ridley! If you manage to KO Ridley, you will earn a point for it in the match results. You can even earn a point for KOing Ridley when he's fighting on your side. Also on this stage, you'll find FG2 Gram units, Julians, and Zeros, each of which can be used by fighters. There are two basic formats for matches in Smash Brothers. Time and Stock! Additionally, we're bringing back Coin Battles! Coin Battles are a relatively casual way of play, where you compete to gather coins that fall from fighters when they are launched. Your coins will be reduced when you fall, though, so be careful! You also have the option to play Stamina Matches! This type of match is similar to a normal fighting game, where you lose when your hit points are reduced to zero. It's just another way to enjoy playing Super Smash Brothers! You can find stamina matches in Special Smash Mode! Oh yeah! I should mention that Special Smash is a mode that allows you to change the rules around and create your own match just the way you like it. You can even have entirely absurd matches, like this. The outcome of these matches will not affect your records, so feel free to have at it. In the Wii U version, you can adjust the frequency that items will appear, whether you want them to appear often, rarely, or never. 
You can also use the toggles to set whether certain items appear at all. My music appears in the Wii U version as well. This function allows you to take all the songs from various stages and series and set how frequently they play during battles. There is music for every period of Nintendo's history. Smash Brothers is the only series that lets you find and play them all in one place. You can also use and change the basic menu music now. Choose whichever song you like. We of course have a good number of songs available in the Nintendo 3DS version. But there will be even more in the Wii U game! In fact, it's not even comparable! You won't find this much music in any other action game. These songs are all part of Nintendo's history, so for gamers, I think this is a must-have feature. I should add that almost all the music from the Nintendo 3DS version will be in the Wii U game too. And with the increase in songs, comes an increase in composers! If we were to offer a game soundtrack including both the remixes of songs and the originals, it might be even pricier than the game itself! One way to collect music is by finding in-game CDs. Grabbing one will add a song to your library. They occasionally appear while SMASHING or in other modes. Songs can also be received as rewards for completing CHALLENGES. In challenges, you must complete various tasks to fill out all of the spaces. For the Wii U version, the Challenges section is all on one screen. You have to complete challenges to reveal additional spaces. The content of each challenge is more rewarding and difficult than ever. Enjoy taking them on across a variety of modes! Classic Mode has you fighting a series of battles until you reach the final showdown. But the Wii U version will be very different from the Nintendo 3DS game. In the 3DS version, you were able to choose what path you took. But in the Wii U version, you will advance based on how well you survive. To do this, you'll have to rank among the winners of various battles, and you have to dominate the final match. You also have a rival and challengers to deal with, so there are plenty of random events that go down. You can change the difficulty by adjusting the intensity. Of course, the more difficult you make the game, the greater your reward! You can also make it less difficult than normal. By the way, we've made it so that you can play classic mode with two players. Clear the mode, and score some trophies together! When you clear Classic Mode or All-Star Mode, you're shown a short movie featuring the fighter you used. Though short, there is a movie for each fighter, so I hope you'll try and view them all. In All-Star Mode, you must take on all the fighters in the game with a limited number of healing items. In the Nintendo 3DS version, you fought fighters in chronological order, but in the Wii U game, it's the opposite. The newest fighters must be defeated before you can get to the old school ones. The rest area design has been updated. You can see a coliseum in the background with trophies of the fighters you've defeated lined up on it. And you can enjoy all-star mode as a two-player mode as well. Together, you can defeat this all-star lineup! In event mode, you take on set-themed battles. By clearing stages out, you can begin to see the path forward. There are plenty of fun, unique themes to choose from. And there are two-player event battles available as well. These two-player event battles have been created specifically for a pair of fighters working together. So there's a completely different map to work your way across.
The impressive new mode Smash Run from the Nintendo 3DS version isn't on the Wii U game. It's a special mode unique to the Nintendo 3DS, where you spend five minutes exploring a dungeon-like maze, acquiring power-ups in preparation for a final Smash battle. For the Wii U version, we are introducing a different mode called Smash Tour! Smash Tour is like a board game where you spin a wheel to advance around the map, using items and more as you wish. Up to four players can play at once! Instead of moving pieces around, you move me's. As you advance across the board, you'll collect more fighters to use in battle. If your Miis arrive on the same space, all players will be forced to face off. Fighters are used in the order you acquired them during Smash Tour. And if you defeat someone, you can even steal a fighter from their lineup. Also, you'll be trying to power up your fighters overall. The power-up items are similar to those found in Smash Run. Using items and random events to your advantage is very important, both on the game map and in battles. Completing a circuit through all the checkpoints will make you stronger too! Use events and items to your advantage and win the final showdown! Fighters in the last battle will, of course, be enhanced by all the power-ups their player has gained up to that point. You'll be playing a stock battle at the end, but your stock is made up of all the fighters you've collected through the game, so having plenty of fighters is key. Many things can happen on the board during battles. Please look forward to playing the fighting party game, Smash Tour! Target Blast gives you a time bomb to launch at targets, blow them up, and earn points. It's different than the Nintendo 3DS version, because the second bomb you launch is bigger and has a more powerful explosion. It's also heavier, so you must plan out how to use both types of bombs. There are also going to be three types of stages. By the way, your scores here will affect your global smash power! Multiplayer mode is now available in the stadium, even for Target Blast! In Target Blast, up to four players can play together by taking turns. Multi-Man Smash can be played by up to four players simultaneously. And Home Run Contest can be played as a two-player co-op mode or by taking turns with up to four players. When playing Target Blast and Home Run Contest by yourself, the goal is to play it over and over to improve your score. But in multiplayer, there's a brand new type of fun! Master Hand and Crazy Hand have a set of challenges for you. These challenges make up the new mode, Special Orders! Battle by battle, you'll try to advance by winning matches laid out on the order ticket you get. In Master Orders, you'll receive rewards based on the difficulty level of the order you undertake. Tickets are used separately and can only be tried once. Give it a go and get a reward! For Crazy Orders, the rules get changed a bit. It costs gold or a pass just to enter. Then within a set time limit, you'll choose and fight battles, with each battle becoming harder the longer you survive. Once you feel you've fought enough, you'll face off against Crazy Hand. If you win, you keep all your rewards. But knowing when to stop is like testing your own judgment skills. Of course, since the risk is greater in Crazy Order, the mode can be that much more profitable. And don't forget, Master Hand is the final boss in Classic Mode! Master Core! The mysterious villain also appeared in the Nintendo 3DS game, emerging from the Master Hand. It's wreathed in a jet black swarm and attacks fighters relentlessly. The form it takes is related to the mass of its swarm. Master Shadow! Master Saber! Master Beast! And Master Giant! 
However, in the Wii U version, there is a form Master Core can take that is much more massive. It's called Master Fortress! The Fortress form will only appear on higher intensity levels. I hope you can make it back alive. One of the special new features in Smash Brothers for Wii U is the wide variety of controller options on offer. It has more controller options for players to choose from than any other Nintendo game. The Wii Remote Plus, Wii Remote Plus Nunchuck, the Wii U Gamepad, the Classic Controller, the Classic Controller Pro, the Wii U Pro Controller, Nintendo GameCube Controller, and finally, the Nintendo 3DS. You can also connect with each type of controller and customize the button settings. When you think of your own personal Smash Brothers controller, I'm sure there's a lot of people who picture this. The GameCube controller! Now you can use the GameCube controller again through the GameCube controller adapter! We also plan on offering a Smash Brothers original GameCube controller in the future. If you have the Nintendo 3DS version of the game, you can use the handheld to control your fighter in the Wii U version's Smash Mode. Choose Nintendo 3DS on the Wii U menu. Then on your portable, choose Wii U. Then you just navigate the screens. Simple enough, right? You can bring the ultimate custom fighter you created on the Nintendo 3DS version to the Wii U game. Everything will be carried over, even your equipment! As you can see, this includes Mii Fighters. Your costumes and hats will be there just like in the Nintendo 3DS version, only in high definition! There are more trophies in this one than ever before! In the Nintendo 3DS version, there were a lot of trophies from portable games. So for the Wii U game, there are a lot of trophies from home console games. You can get lost in the design so easily. As mentioned, there are even more trophies than in the already huge collection from the Nintendo 3DS game. And then there are the final Smash trophies with their exemplary craftsmanship. You can tell there's a lot you can express in the game that you just can't recreate in real life. You have to make it through all-star mode with a fighter to get his or her final smash trophy. For the trophies, we've designed a new set of trophy boxes! By collecting trophies, you'll be able to display them according to their theme. Completing each of the themes is sure to bring joy to every completionist's heart. The Photo Studio allows you to arrange figures like a diorama. Set up scenes and take just the right photos to show them off. You can snap a variety of trophies freely, so take tons of fun photos! If you want more trophies, the best way to get them is to play Trophy Rush! In the Wii U version, you can actually play with two players. By teaming up, things will definitely become easier. But you can also play competitively, since each player's tally is on display. There are so many fighters to choose from that you can play around with... 2,600 combinations! So, what kind of battles were the fighters from Smash Brothers getting into in the past? You can take a peek into their previous lives in the mode MASTERPIECES! These little games offer you a chance to play cut-down versions of their greatest hits. The startup is nice and quick. You can see the collection of titles here. Some of the games will have pre-installed save data, but when the time is up, it's GAME OVER! You can look at it as a sort of time trial mode, where you compete to see how far you can advance within the time limit.
If you find something you want to play all the way through, you can buy it in the Nintendo eShop! The 3D Figures Amiibo! Actually, the first Amiibo to go on sale will be those of the Smash Brothers fighters. Once an Amiibo figure has been scanned, the fighter can join the battle as a figure player or FP! Though the Amiibo figure will be weak at first, they will level up and become much stronger. They gain experience fighting, becoming smarter and smarter. You can also help them grow by feeding them extra equipment. You can fight against these veteran amiibo, team up with them to battle, or even have amiibo fight each other. Also, amiibo have the tendency to get even tougher when visiting someone else's house and fighting. Finally, amiibo will bring you presents from the battles they fight in. There will be many more amiibo joining the lineup in the future. Boy, is it sweet to line them up like this! When playing online, your connection environment is very important. But the Wii Ethernet LAN adapter is compatible with the Wii U, so we recommend using that if you don't have a stable Wi-Fi connection. This is the main menu for the Wii U version. When you jump online, you'll see notifications and recent topics of discussion. You can also see a list of past notifications. EXCITING! When battling online in With Anyone mode, you can team up with someone using the same Wii U. To play an online match together, select Team Smash to begin. You have the option to play with one player or two. It will take a little while before we can implement this feature, but for the Wii U version, we are planning on introducing a mode where you can host your own tourneys. Assemble players, then compete for points within a set time frame. You can set the conditions yourself, but I hope you'll also look for tourneys to join as well. What's more, we're going to have official tourneys. Up to 64 players can fight in a battle for survival. After the matches have ended, you can also watch replays of each one. The gamepad screen will not only display the same visuals as what you see on your TV, it can also display information, like the amount of damage each fighter has taken. When playing with your friends, you might want to stand it up. Let me show you a few other features of the Wii U gamepad! Compose your shot, then take a picture! You can then use the gamepad to decorate your photo. This lets you have more fun with the photos you take. Following a future game update, you'll be able to send photos online, even to friends! On the gamepad, there's a microphone! Using it, you'll be able to talk with your friends. Let's do timed. Sounds good. After creating a match with your friends, go to the fighter selection screen or the results screen. If it looks like this, it means you have your mics on and you can talk to each other. While you're battling, in order to keep your connection as strong as possible, we've disabled voice chat. However, you can talk and compare strategies before you begin or during the results screen. Let's do it again. But the most interesting thing you can do with the gamepad in Smash Brothers is this! Use your imagination to easily design stages! Create two points and make a straight line between them or press and hold while moving the stylus to draw freehand. If you make it a little too chaotic though, the ground might be a bit unstable, so use a gentle touch. You can place areas that damage fighters with your stylus, just as if you were drawing! And there are plenty of themes you can set up as well. There are five themes in all, and you can choose any music you like from the various stage songs. 
We aim to give you lots of freedom, so you better get creative, because I'll be watching! This is a function we'll be adding when it's ready, but we are planning on giving players the ability to share their photos, replays, me fighters, and custom stages with friends. You can also post them online and share your creations with the world! There are a number of new features and modes that the Wii U and 3DS versions share, including... For glory battles! For fun battles! Battling with friends! Conquest! Spectate! World stats! Replays in the replay channel! Buttons! Sounds! Internet options! Rules! Smash battles! Team Smash! Training, trophy shop, albums, sound test, fighter records, stats, milestones, tips, and more! There's more content than ever before in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, allowing you to play around and dive in deep. I hope you're excited for its release! In the Wii U version, we've included all the Joins the Battle movies for the new fighters, so you can enjoy them in HD! Anyone who buys both the Nintendo 3DS version and the Wii U version and registers with Club Nintendo can get SPECIAL SOUNDTRACK CDs! It will be a two-disc set. The red version will have music from the Nintendo 3DS game, and the blue version will contain music from the Wii U game. This exclusive offer from Club Nintendo is only available for a limited time. So don't miss your chance! Time for a special announcement! Mewtwo has joined the battle as a new fighter! This special bonus fighter will be available to those of you who purchased both the Nintendo 3DS and the Wii U version of the game. 
It's a free download! However, Mewtwo is still in development. It takes a lot of work even to complete one fighter. This completion date is scheduled for spring of 2015. Please stay tuned! Super Smash Bros. for Wii U will be released in Europe on December 5th.